So you've downloaded and installed Waveform from the Download Manager. While we're here, let's grab these sound packs as they might come in handy. Before we start making any music, we'll go to the Audio Settings, select our audio interface, and check it's making sound. Perfect. And while we're here, be sure to enable at least one input, as we'll be recording some guitar later on. We'll also need our MIDI controller, so check on the MIDI Devices page that it's also enabled. And once that's all taken care of, we'll begin with a new empty project. Let's start by searching for a drum loop in the browser. I'm feeling this one, so let's drag it in. And then loop it. Loop points can be set to the selected range by simply clicking the A key. To rename or color tracks, simply visit the Actions panel. Next, we need some chords. Let's see if there are any track loops that we can start with. Nice. To duplicate any clip, hit the D key. Let's roll off those highs with the DJ filter. Now for some bass. We'll need to select and arm our MIDI controller for this one. Now let's choose an instrument. I'm going to go with the multi sampler, so let's add that to the track. I'm liking this sound, so let's record a few bars. Let's quantize the performance before duplicating the clip. What we really need now is some guitar. My guitar is plugged into channel 1, so let's select that and then arm the input. I like this, but I think it needs some delay. Let's now work on the overall mix. To bring the mix panel into view, click the M key. That's sounding great. Let's bounce it out so I can share it with friends. And here's our final MP3 file. <laughs> 